The foolish virgins have no oil because their robes are spotted by the flesh. Ecclesia, message number 138. I hear Christians saying they cannot cease from sin, and they gather together not forsaking their assembly, presuming to know God. But they lie and do not the truth, for sin is the reason that Jesus was manifest as the word of God made flesh. To destroy the work of the devil and to set the captives free. But because the way of truth is evil spoken of by mockers and workers of iniquity, the sinner does not appear who sees full deliverance from the power of darkness. The gospel of the kingdom of God is not of this world and its corruption through lust. Rather, the kingdom of God is within the true believer who has crucified the deeds of the flesh by the Spirit of God. While the carnal-minded rest the scriptures and touch the unclean thing, it's no wonder when they are tempted, immediately they are offended because of persecution and tribulation. They find the hard saying of Christ to go and sin no more abhorrent to their flesh as they live to provide for their lust. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. God is no respecter of sinners. If any man or woman be in Christ, they are a new creature. Old things have passed away, and all things have become new, and all things are of God, pure and holy, and joy in the Holy Spirit. But the harvest is past, and the reapers have separated the wheat from the tares. The foolish virgins have no oil, because their robes are spotted by the flesh, and they have not repented of their abominations. Let the righteous remain righteous, and let the filthy remain filthy, till the day of the Lord, when the righteous judge will appear, and every man's works shall be tried by fire to see what sort of work it is, whether it is gold or silver, brass or tin, hay or stubble. All work shall be tried by the spirit of burning and the spirit of judgment.